We will move on now. There were so many stories of heroism unfolding right behind us five years ago. It wasn't just trained professionals who were transformed that day into heroes. Everyday people who worked at the World Trade Center saved many lives and so many of their stories to tell. Tonight, Sade Badarwa at Ground Zero with a story of a custodian turned rescuer. Sade. Well, Bill and Liz, as you mentioned, there were many heroes that day, ordinary people doing extraordinary things like William Rodriguez. He worked at the North Tower as a custodian for 20 years. And when Flight 11 slammed into the tower, instead of running from danger, he ran straight to it. I relieve 9-11 every day. No matter how hard William Rodriguez tries, he cannot forget what he saw that day, nor the sheer terror that grips him even now in quiet moments. He stays with you for a race imprinted. Rodriguez worked at the North Tower. He was a custodian responsible for cleaning the stairwell. On the morning of 9-11, he was in the basement. We hear, boom, an explosion so loud that puts us upwards on the air. And we started screaming. We didn't know what it was. It was the first hijacked plane that hit the tower. We call it the key of hope. Rodriguez had one of only five master keys to unlock the doors in the middle stairwell and lead firefighters up floor by floor. I went and picked up the man on the wheelchair and I started going down. The building started to oscillate so hard. He saved several lives that day. Then suddenly, Rodriguez heard a terrible rumbling like the sound of an earthquake. I saw it was a total disaster. And all I hear is run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Like so many others, Rodriguez ran from the cloud of debris and dove under a fire truck. You okay? Help me. When Rodriguez was pulled from the wreckage, he was a changed man, from someone who never cared about social issues to an activist fighting for disaster relief for the Hispanic community. The only way I can glorify that miracle of being alive is helping others. But Rodriguez says he also learned what's really important. I realize that the most important thing that you have in your life is your family and your friends. It's not your job. It's not how much money you make. And he is certainly right about that, a reminder to us all. Rodriguez says one of his major achievements out of all of this, besides saving lives, was receiving assurances from the federal government that all undocumented workers could receive 9-11 benefits without fear of deportation. Reporting live in Lower Manhattan, Sade Benoit, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Major okay. accomplishment indeed. Oh, no question. And he took that opportunity and made something of it, now beginning an activist, so congratulations. And still incredibly so hard to see those images that we just saw in that piece. We're going to see much more of it tomorrow and tonight. We're going to have more from Ground Zero a little later in this newscast. Including a look at the emotional wall of prayer. And then we're going to take a look at the flip side of all of this tragedy and sadness. Thousands of children born on that faithful day. Diana Williams is going to introduce us to one of those little children a little later. Sandra and Joe, back to you guys. Thank you.